I have to speak loud. This is so weird. I can't speak loud. Hi, do you like my headband? It's so cute. Today we're gonna do a uh, makeup tutorial. There will be a skincare video too. It's so cute. I cleaned my skin and then I put a toner. So that's what I have right now. We're gonna start with a uh, vitamin C serum from Sephora. I hope you like my mirror. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a few drops of this serum, literally maybe three, four, like this. Getting brighter for this makeup, prep it. I'm researching a lot about skincare at the moment, um, making sure that, because skincare is the best, the best makeup. If your skincare is good, then your makeup will be good. My skin also is very dry, as dry as the Sahara Desert. I really need to pack it on the moisture. Otherwise it just looks like crevices and stuff and you don't want that. For my primer, I'm going to use a La Roche-Posay <laughs> primer with SPF. It's a great way to incorporate SPF into your makeup. It doesn't leave a white cast, I think. God, because I tried the, I think that was Makeup Forever one and everyone was like, wow, it doesn't leave a white film. I tried it. Y'all are pale. <laughs> That's why it doesn't leave anything on your skin. But on me, it just, I just looked dead. Actually, I had my, you know, color analysis done. Basically, I saw this on Gentle Whispering's channel like years ago, right? Gentle Whispering, if you want to do me. <laughs> do my color analysis. A girl did it for me. I always thought in my life that I was a warm skin tone because I'm olive, you know, so I thought, you know, yellow, green, warm. Um, nope. Uh, she said I am a cool tone, cool and radiant, she said. I, I'm basically a winter, you know, in the seasonal skin tones. My life turned upside down when I learned that I was cool tone. So now it shifted my whole my whole wardrobe. <laughs> but now I realize that like stuff that's like very muted and like beige and stuff like that is looking so dead on me. <laughs> Just I bought these two new foundations that have cool tones now. I got the Makeup Forever HD, HD Skin and the Sephora Best Skin Ever one. So I think I'm gonna do this one today. Wow, that focus. I'm going to get this. Um, Zoeva brush, concealer brush. Uh, my tint is 22P, if you're wondering. I guess we should put it on my hand. And then I take a very little. I start on my cheeks, right there horizontally. I know, it's very strange. And then you make sure that you have very little once you get, you go up to your under eyes so that it's very thin under eyes. And then you just go everywhere or I kind of just stay into, you know, the center zone because I don't feel like this is really necessary. I just like take what's left on the brush and just go there. I I don't like heavy makeup because I, I don't I don't like to peel the makeup. Uh, and I used to wear a lot of makeup just for artistry purposes. And now it's not my thing. I'm going to take a very thin brush. This is literally, I have no idea what brush this is. And I'm going to take my Pro Concealer Palette by Dasik. I use peach, a peachy tone for my under eyes and also just a little bit around my mouth just to brighten up these areas. We're gonna take a bit of that peachy tone. If you're lighter, you can take that pinky one. Um, and I'm going to take this. Put it on my hand. Um, I learned most of these things from Haney Beauty. Go see her channel. She is <sighs> amazing. And then I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my concealer that's like uh, Best Skin Ever from Sephora in tint 22. I'm gonna put a little there, just a dot. And I'm gonna mix those like this and really kind of like wipe it on my hand a little to have the least possible on my skin, on my, on my brush. 
we're so close, you and I. We're gonna go as low as possible, not close to the crease, okay? So like when you have a lot of product, you, you stay low and then you bring it up a little bit, but never go close to the crease because otherwise it's all gonna go in that crease. You can go near, like very close to your lashes if you have some discoloration there. I don't know what color they are. It's kind of weird, but peach seems to work. I tried yellow. I didn't really like it, I think. There we go. Um, also, I kind of go in there a little. And for me on the outside, because I have droopy, slightly droopy eyes, and there's a lot of shadow there, so I'm just lifting it up a little. But make sure not to go close to that crease, otherwise you are fudged. Let me brighten this. Oh my god, I was gonna fall. Hello. I'm gonna take the little cutest thing and then just very lightly tap to like melt the edges of what we just did away. You can do that with your fingers, let's be real. So I have this powder from <laughs> Skin Food. It has a little pad. Oh, I just take the, pa the pad, I don't know, the cushion, and then rub it against another cushion with the powder on it because I learned that it's very unhygienic if you put the pad directly on your skin and then put it back in the box. We just go lightly under eyes for my blush i'm using this uh, new sephora color blush it's matte and it's in the color trust yourself i just bought all those cool tones because i didn't really have them before <laughs> and i'm using a fluffy brush whatever kind of brush works i would like a smaller brush i'm trying to find one so and for my face shape, um, because I have a long face, I like to put my blush on the outwards, on the outwards, on the outside, and not below my nose, because otherwise it drags my face down. So it depends on your face shape. Yeah, so I'm pretty light at first with the blush, and then I just go heavier in it. But yeah, also on the camera. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this is a good cool tone blush. Um, I usually use cream blush, but these days, I don't know. I usually use the Rare blushes by by Rare Beauty. I bought their, their cool tone color. I think it's called like Grace or something, but it's a little patchy. Yeah, I'm putting a little bit on the tip of my nose because that's really cute. I tend to put more blush when I do my makeup because it kind of fades throughout the day. So like if I put more blush, I do look like a clown when I go out, but I don't go out, so it's fine. But eventually at the end of the day, you'll still see some blush. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you have a wider face, maybe like put your blush like closer to your nose, you know? I watch a lot of tutorials from Korean ladies. They overline often their lips. So at first I was like, hmm, might work on me and at first I liked it but looking back I don't really like it I kind of I don't know I kind of feel like my thinner lips suit my face the only thing I do is I just line slightly overline my cupid's bow you take your cupid's bow and you just like just go a little over the line on the center of the cupid's bow I don't like it on myself when I I go outside there because then it just like widens my lips. I'm just giving them a slight push. I used to do like on the sides here and then here, but my lower lip I feel like is thick enough for my face because when I overline it, it just looks crazy. This is from, I think Peripera, right? Ink Velvet 28. It's like a very dark, nude so i use it in i think mostly in the center and i just go like make sure it's on the outside too okay 
I add uh, Ink Velvet 18 and I just like brighten it up a little, you know? I go ahead and blend the outside. Okay, because I feel like it looks less strict when you blend. It doesn't look that cool tone on camera, which is weird. I like it glossy a little, so I add Peripera Ink Mood Glowy Tint in six. A little. Just like not glossy, but like slightly juicy. Next, I'm going to take my NARS uh, eyeshadow primer. I couldn't tell you if it's good. I mean, it's just an eyeshadow primer. I'm sure the Urban Decay is just as nice. Blend it everywhere. I'm going to use this, uh, I think it's Holika Holika Pinkology Eyeshadow Palette. It's just pink. And I'm gonna use the, just a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the brightest, uh, just to brighten up my whole eye area. And I'm gonna put it literally everywhere. I take the pink there on the corner and I just go ahead, yeah, same brush, I don't care. Just go ahead closer to the outside corner, just a little bit of, you know, some color. A pop of color. I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This one is by Etude. It's called All All Day Fix. I used to draw my eyeliner like from there and then going up. I just discovered it doesn't suit me at all. My eyes are slightly, can you see them? It's like very wide, no, very large. And then they droop a little bit. So like when I do this, it just looks like, or it has to be really, thick and I don't like that. Take this and kind of follow that line but not too droopy. We're just gonna go kind of in the middle. So I go this, I kind of follow my lashes. Like my lashes give me that kind of, you know, that kind of line so I follow that line because my eyelashes are like an eyeliner because they are very prominent on the outside. I connect it to the inside. Oh, did you see that? Uh, and I make sure that it's it's really thin. Like this. Same on this side, I follow my lashes. There you go. And I connect it to the outside corner. This is if you wear mascara. If you want to wear mascara eyeliner, you go on your lashes and kind of brush the roots because this will prevent um, the colors that you put on your lashes and around your lashes from bleeding. So yeah, they do look a little wide, but if you wear mascara, then it's fine. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes just gently. I rarely wear mascara because I don't like to take it off. I'm lazy. I just curl the lashes and then go like this. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna go full on glam. So it's Clinique Lash Power Mascara in, this is dark chocolate. I like this brush, it's very nice. I mostly go on the outside corner first and then, and then everywhere. All right. And then right at the under waterline with some beige. If you have droopy eyes, this is a good makeup because if you have droopy eyes and if you have like strong, you know, like heavy eyelashes on the bottom like me, I don't want to do anything that weighs the makeup down. So I don't wear any makeup on the lower lashes and I don't I like, I just make it as light as possible basically and the focus is on the upper eyes, the upper eyes, the upper eyelids. Yeah, so it just like lifts. This is Urban Decay heavy metal glitter eyeliner thing. This is the silver one. What I do is I just put in the center a little bit like this. 
not too much. Can you see this? Yeah, you can. Uh, for my eyebrows, I don't do anything because I don't like them to be to be heavy. Um, I want them to be lighter than my um, hair usually because I think it just brightens my eyes. Otherwise, it, it just feels like this dark, dark bar above my my eyes and my eyes are very heavy. So I think it just brightens my whole look, if that makes sense. I have the, the mark. Okay, whatever. That's what it looks like. It's just it's not too heavy. I think it's cute. Um, it's supposed to be pink, but you will never see that. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you for the skincare part. <laughs>